Okay, so I went and uh, got a 10 tip natural gas burner site online. It was uh, it was about twenty three dollars for the 10 tip burner and another eight dollars in shipping. So low 30s. I can uh, can brew beer on my kegel right there on that burner just as some uh, minor modifications. So what I did is I got my hot water heater over here and this trap was already on there to collect dust and all that. I should probably put another extension on here at some point, but uh, that's a work in progress. So I just put a valve on there, hooked up some air fittings and just using some uh, braided hose at this point. Most likely upgrade that to uh, an air hose. I'm running 3 8 ID half inch OD on the hose and then you can see I used to use a quarter inch air hose to run my natural gas to this uh, propane burner but I wasn't getting a good burn so anyway I thought I'd upgrade haven't tried it yet but uh, yeah the flame looks a lot better than it does on my propane burner right here that I was running natural gas on so this is uh, you know, this is off the uh, the main line from the house, so it's already metered, so you don't need uh, another meter. I think it has like two inches of, uh, let's see, two inches of water column as a pressure on this. Not exactly sure, but anyway, it's just standard house, house low pressure. So what I do is I turn the gas on, and light it up. She's cooking pretty good. That's much better than it was before. I don't want to run too long. I'm in a closed garage right here, so just a test. And you can control the flow rate pretty good too, just by this ball valve turning it down. That's a nice slow. That's full blast right there. And off. All right. Good luck. Leave comments if uh, you have any questions.